I bring you a message. A message few of you will be able to believe. A message of great importance. A message I alone was able to read in the fires of the universe. But be not afraid, my friends. I also bring you the means with which to save yourselves. Save us from what? From the end of the world, friend. Which I don't expect you to believe. Uh, tell me something. Um, what's going on in this town anyway? Did your mayor die or what? World's coming to an end. Uh, how's that? Midnight tonight, the whole caboodle's gonna burn up. Oh. Where'd you get that? Pillow back there. With the one with the hat on? Mm-mm. Other one. He says the world is gonna come to an end? Midnight tonight. Where is he from? Drove in this morning. Wagon out front. Mm -hmm. Got a name? Trump. I bet it fits. Yeah, I heard. Uh, your name is Trump? Dr. Walter Trump. I am the only one. Just me. I can build a wall around your homes that nothing will penetrate. What do we do? How do we save ourselves? You ask, how do you build that wall? You ask, and I'm here to tell you. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. This is what you were supposed to look like. They predicted you'd look like at 47 years old. And I have to say, you... They had you like a, a young Donald Trump. It looked like it's... It does kind of look like Donald Trump. Yeah, it does. There is a Donald Trumpiness to it. Huge! Ah, it was a sting operation. I was, I was, I was setting them up. Read my No, thoughts. please, no, I cannot be fired. I'm fired. Ah... You know, no visit to New York is complete without a tour of the world's most fully automated office building. My Clamp, premier Regency Trade Center and Retail Concourse, headquarters of Clamp Enterprises, and home of CCN, Clamp Cable Network Television. The death of Mr. Wing removes the last obstacle to developer Daniel Clamp's long-delayed Chinatown project. This quaint little shop which once housed many rare objects from the Orient, must now make way for the future, Daniel Clamp style. The Clamp Premier Regency Office Center, where one man's dream became a reality. I hope you enjoyed today's tour, and don't forget, pick up your copy of Mr. Clamp's best-selling book, I Took Manhattan, on sale right here at our newsstand for only $19.95. Hey, that's Clamp, let's go. Hey, 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 go, hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, hey, go. Mr. Clamp, is it true the building's been evacuated? Sir, is the building on fire? No, no, that's a false alarm. We've just got some uh, <laughs> problems. Problems? You got a guy in there in a Dracula costume broadcasting stuff with little green monsters. Are you trying to panic New York City? Absolutely not. So the monsters are real? I didn't say that. Then when are you saying that? Uh, just what I always say, Mike.
minutes, a body been calls in here, has tripped. What the hell is going on? Stop. Let me explain. For the rest of the day, we're supposed to handle the department's communication. What do you mean, handle? They're shutting down the police van. All calls will be coming through this switchboard. And I'm going to marry Donald Trump. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke? How can that be? Well, remember when the last administration decided to invest in our nation's children? Big mistake. The Balanced Breakfast Program just created a generation of ultra-strong super criminals. And Midnight Basketball taught them to function without sleep. What about my pledge to build the world's largest bookmobile? Isn't there any money left for that? No, and we borrowed from every country in the world. Twenty-eight days. Six hours. Forty-two minutes. Twelve seconds. That is when the world will end. I want to bring to the presidency out of the White House beginning in January of 1989. Panama is a friendly country. So what do you think of my Trump home mattress collection by Serta? Finally, the same luxury and comfort I demand in my hotels. Oh, they'll never count sheep again. Listen, why don't you come work for me? What do you have in mind? Something you were born to do. Welcome to Room 9. Looking good, number nine. Looking good. Where's your dignity? Save now on this Trump Home Luxury Suites mattress during the Serta Luxury Suites Savings Event, now through Labor Day. Ah, here it is. Instructions to fit in have everybody like you and always be happy. Step one, breathe. Okay, got that one down. Step two, greet the day's smile and say, Good morning, Step three, exercise. Jumping jacks, hit them. One, two, three. I am so pumped up. Step four, shower. And always be sure to keep the soap out of your ass. Shave your face. Rough the fruit. Comb your hair. <laughs> Wear clothes! <laughs> Almost forgot that one! No, no, uh-uh, no. Not that wrong. And that's it, Jack. Step nine! Eat a complete breakfast with all the special people in your life! Hey, Planty, what do you want to do this morning? Watch TV? Me too! Hi, I'm President Business, President of the Octad Corporation. the world. Let's take extra care to follow the instructions or you'll be put to sleep. And don't forget Taco Tuesday is coming next week. That's the day every rule following citizen gets a free taco and my love!
Have a great day, everybody. You have a great day, too, President Business. Man, he's such a cool guy. I always want to hear more of what... Wait, did he say put to sleep? Okay, all the people of the universe were once free to travel and mingle and build whatever they wanted. But President Business was confused by all the chaos. Uh -huh. So he erected walls between the worlds and became obsessed with order and perfection. And he stole a mysterious secret super weapon called... The Crackle! And he hired Bad Cop to hunt down all the master builders who were always changing everything. And those of us who remained, well, we went in hiding, built the tunnels to survive. And it means I don't believe you. Why else would you show up with that thing on your back just three days before President Business is going to use the Crackle to end the world? And this is Donald Trump, 33 years old, and some people think that he wants to buy the World Trade Center, the 110-story Manhattan skyscraper that anyone can pick up if they've got the coins. Hey, that's Clem. Let's go. go. Mr. Clamp, is it true the building's been evacuated? Sir, is the building on fire? No, no, that's a false alarm. We've just got some uh, <laughs> problems. Trump has said, quite seriously, that he's a good enough bargainer to negotiate a nuclear disarmament treaty with the Russians. I really am convinced we're in danger of the sort of terrorist attacks that will make the bombing of the 1993 Trade Center look like kids playing with firecrackers. So. Donald Trump is on the line. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know him as the man behind lots of real estate in Manhattan. And of course, uh, Donald, I understand you were actually a witness to what happened this morning. Well, I have a window that looks directly at the World Trade Center, and I saw this huge explosion. I was with a group of people, and I, I, I really couldn't even believe it. I mean, you look at Larry Silverstein, who's a terrific owner in New York, and a very good friend of mine who I just called. I was very worried about him because I assume maybe he was in the building. He took possession of the building one week ago. How much uh, money has been lost in the attack? I would say 15 to 20 billion dollars. You're talking billions and billions of dollars, and uh, it's irreparable, irreparable. But I really feel that the location is such and the importance of the monument is such that we have to rebuild. And again, not necessarily in the form of the two towers, but something has to be done that's very big and very majestic. We went after Iraq. They did not knock down the World Trade Center, okay? It wasn't the Iraqis that knocked down the World Trade Center. We went after Iraq, we decimated the country, Iran's taken over, okay. But it wasn't the Iraqis. Uh, you will find out who really knocked down the World Trade Center, because they have papers in there that are very secret. You may find it's the Saudis, okay? But you will find out.